Hi, this is Michelle with Colorado Model Railroad Museum, and we're celebrating the Rio Grande's 150th anniversary of incorporation this year, so we're looking at all of our artifacts. We have this bell that has a really cool story of how we got it, and I'll tell you that in a different video, but today we're going to look at the bell and see if there's any clues that we can find out what kind of locomotive it came from. So I'm here with Steve Watrous, who's one of our volunteers from Iowa, and uh, he's got some ideas. So Steve, tell us about it. Well, it's obviously off of a Rio Grande locomotive that says so. Uh, and I'm going to estimate off, originally I was thinking maybe a smaller one, but it was mounted to the front of the smoke box. You could tell by the bracket. So this would have been upright like this. This would have been this way? Right. Like it would have been it? upward and the okay. bolts right into the front, probably right above the headlight. Okay. And then you see how uh, heavy the arm is to actually operate the bell. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm going to guess it was probably rope activated versus Where would the rope pneumatic. Go rope would have attached to here. Yeah. Okay. And if you notice on the locomotives, there were eyelet bolts that would come up with a hole. Okay. So the rope would be mounted, would go through those holes along the boiler all the way back into the all cab. Right and then that would pull that hand, because that handle would be a, right. a down. Okay. Now, a lot of the bigger locomotives uh, became pneumatically operated. They usually what those would do is the pneumatic, it would just get a hold of the clanger inside there and just keep clanging it against the side oh, of the instead bell. Of actually you doing wouldn't the watch part. the bell swing back and forth. Okay. Now, other than that, we'll probably never know what locomotive it came off of. Now, I'm just hoping to find out what kind, maybe. Yeah. Someone's got to have a photograph of this kind of bell on a locomotive. So well, What we should do now <laughs> is go through Rio Grande's steam locomotives. Yeah. Everything from the big 2882s. Well, I'm um, going to throw this out for the Rio Grande historic people on Facebook and see if they can help us. What kind of prize do you get for good? Um, I will get free admission to the person who finds the locomotive that came up. <laughs> 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 we just thought it would be a fun experiment and mystery for this year. So. The, the types that mounted on top of the boiler uh, about halfway back, Okay. You, you picture this stanchion would have been more in the center and it wouldn't have had these bolts. Because these are... Okay. Yeah, that so sense to you? Kind of. I think I did. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully we'll find a photo of something like this. So. And the reason for this angle, it would be mounted right at the top at the okay. front of the locomotive on the smoke down. box. So the no. bell was out here over the top of the headlight, mm -hmm. okay. you know, and could swing without hitting anything. Interesting. Thank you, Steve. Very good. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Help us out. Thanks.